Currently, the pumps and the generators are being powered by these three biomass generators. And it right now, it's consuming 65 megawatts to do this. The coal extractor and the three pumps are consuming that. So let's have a look. These each are 20 megawatts, so 20, 40, 60, plus the extractor is, must be another five megawatts. That, does that make sense? Let's have a look here in our, it's five megawatts, so 65. Let me pose this to you. Right now, and you've seen when I've been doing building already, and the uh, I've run out of biomass, solid biomass, and all the power turns off. Ah, that's all right. You come back and you just top up the biomass burners and powers back up again. Another reason why the, the power trips out is if you exceed the capacity of the power circuit. So when you exceed the capacity of the power circuit, power cuts out completely, which is a bit of a, a bit of a bummer, isn't it? You, you, because at that point. If the power cuts out completely, um, some bad things happen. Uh, one of those things is that the uh, then you need to come here and fire these uh, water extractors up again with this jump start system to make it work. Like I could connect right now this power to over here, and these would be and disconnect that connected down there with the jump start system. And this would no longer be um, powering the, um, this would no longer would be required. However, when you trip the power out completely, you're going to have to come and redo all of this. So one of the techniques I'm going to show you is 65 megawatts are required right now to run this whole system. Why not? dedicate one coal generator to this purpose. So I'm going to come down here and disconnect the jump start system. Okay, so now one coal generator, its only purpose is to provide the power for the coal extractor so you can see it's just 75 because nothing's being used with the the coals built up and the water extractors built up there's not much consumption there's not that 65 anymore um, and here we have 525 for the remaining oh that's where you were hiding in my how did you get in there um, we'll leave him there as a, as a guest but the whole point of what I did then was when I overload my power circuit, it doesn't matter because my water extractors will continue to run and the coal miner will continue to run and provide the power required to power the important things. And then once you fix your power problem, whether it's to add more coal generators or to uh, remove the item that was that added more power draw, everything will then just continue to work again. Okay, one other concept I haven't talked about is, um, and it's not entirely important here, but I do want to demonstrate it and show you for purposes of the fact that I've shown you, and that is fluid buffers. And some problems we've I've experienced before with the game and other people have, when the game first loads, um, there can be instances where there's not enough water in the pipes initially for the water to be flowing to keep to make sure the power starts straight away. And what you can do to avoid that is to put in fluid buffers. A fluid buffer is simply a, uh, a storage device and I'm going to put I'm going to put one here and we're going to put one here and then we're just going to hook up the uh,
And what it means is... Water will build up in this tank. And then it will do, be distributed into the system here. And uh, when there's a... Uh, uh, any major issues, there is a buffer of water ready to go. Uh, and it will build up over time. 